We don't know what they're talking about. And until we do, we can't report anything. The officials now appear to be clearing the floor. The game tonight has been postponed. And take your time in leaving the arena tonight and do so in an orderly fashion. Thank you for coming out tonight. I'm Scott Van Pelt here at ESPN. This this astounding and unprecedented story continues to evolve uh, at halftime with Adrian Wojnarowski. I suggested that uh, we would speak to him soon. I had no idea that it would be this soon. He has just tweeted within the past two minutes that the NBA is suspending the season. First reaction and thought when you learn that the season's been suspended. This is crazy. This can't be true. I mean, it's not within the realm of possibilities. It's just it seemed more like out of a movie than reality. It just stunning isn't the right word. I mean, it's just crazy. The NBA has now released a statement saying the league is suspending all games until further noticed after tonight's schedule. Breaking news here on CBS Sports HQ, and it is monster news. The NBA has suspended the season after Rudy Gobert has tested positive for coronavirus. Now, that's video from Monday at a press conference when Gobert was trying to joke around about the overreaction to the virus touching every mic and recorder in sight. As I'm quoting here, at the time, I had no idea I was even infected. I was careless and make no excuse. I hope my story serves as a warning and causes every everyone to take this seriously. Another Utah Jazz player also tested positive today. A second Utah Jazz player has now tested positive. The majority of the NBA now has now come into contact with someone who has had direct contact uh, with those Jazz players. Last night was unlike any night I've ever experienced in my many, many years of covering watching sports. Mm -hmm. It was stunning, it was sobering, and I still haven't quite gotten over last night. Right. As a basketball fan, I'm depressed. As a human being and as an American citizen, I'm getting to the point where I'm scared as hell. China, South Korea, Italy, shutting down basically everything. Well, if that's happening, you know that the United States is going to be next. We, we all getting freaked out about the NBA, baseball, hockey. You got to understand that a lot of this stuff is legal advice so you don't get sued. Some lawyer is saying, you don't want this player to sue you or an, a corporation. You don't want somebody working here to get the virus when you could have sent him home. So all of these are just warnings.